Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at using MongoDB query operators. Now these query operators are going to allow for greater search flexibility when we query our database. So to get started, let's actually get to our database. So I'm just going to say Mongo to bring up the Mongo shell. I'm going to type show DBs, use school, show collections, db.students.find.pretty. All right, so this is our student collection and these are the documents within that collection. So now let's actually start answering some of these questions. So the first question says, find all students in grade 10 with a higher GPA than 2.0. Well, we all should be familiar with how to find the first criteria that the students should be in grade 10. So we're going to go down here. We're going to pass in this query. We're going to say grade 10. And the second part is that the GPA has to be higher than a 2.0. Now for this part, we're going to use what's known as a query operator. So we're going to say GPA, and then we're going to pass in an object, and then we're going to use the query operator greater than. So I'm just going to say GT and greater than 2.0. And if I hit enter, you can see that we get all the students who have a higher GPA than 2.0 and they're all in grade 10. All right, so that's great. So now let's take a look at 1B, grade 10 and a GPA higher than or equal to, and we're just gonna assume that this is 2.0 and that I forgot to put it. So they have to be grade 10 and greater than or equal to. So let's go back down here. And instead of using the greater than query operator, what we can use is the greater than or equal to operator. So to use that, we just say GTE. And if we hit enter, you can see that it will include students who also have a GPA of two. Now in this particular dummy data set, I don't think we have any students that are equal to two. But that's how you would do it if you did have a student with a 2.0 GPA and who was in grade 10. So now I'm just going to clear the console and let's move on to problem two. It says find all students who are failing grades lower than 2.0. Okay, so this is a pretty simple query. We're just going to go here. Let's just remove everything says find all students who are failing so grades lower than 2.0 so that means they're looking for a gpa that is lower than 2.0 so we're just going to say gpa and then we're going to pass in this object and we're going to use another curie operator and this curie operator is going to be called the less than operator and we're going to pass in 2.0 so now if i hit enter you can see that all the documents that we got back, all of our students who are failing and have a GPA that is less than 2.0. All right, so this looks good. So now let's take a look at our third question. So we found all the students who are failing. We scroll back down here. Now I wanna find all the students who are failing and are in a grade higher than ninth grade. Okay. So if we go here, we already know how to find all the students who are failing. Now I want to add a second criteria that they have to be higher than ninth grade. So we're just going to take this existing query. And our second query is going to be grade. And we're going to pass in this object. And we're going to use the greater than operator. So I'm just going to say dollar sign greater than, and then we're going to have the value of nine. So now if I hit enter, you can see that the results that we get are all the students who are failing and are also in a higher grade than level nine. So this query appears to be working. So now let's take a look at our fourth question. 
find all students who are not in grade 10. All right, so let's go down here. We're just gonna go up here. And now we're just going to use a new operator. And we're gonna say grade. And we're gonna pass in this object. And this operator is called the not equals operator. So we're just gonna say dollar sign, not equals, and then 10. So now if I hit enter, you can see that all the students that we get back are only the students who happen to not be in grade 10. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of how you would use MongoDB query operators.